So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Um, so most simplify questions are short. They're between one and three lines long, right? So we have one line question here. And in addition to being short, they have an equation or expression. So we see this equation here, a to the negative half power equals x. So let's read the question and see what we can do. So if a to the negative half power equals x, and again, I just like to always write down any equation or expression provided, where a is greater than zero, what is a in terms of x? All right, so basically I'm just isolating a. What is a, what is a in terms of x? So I wanna a equals blah, blah, something that has an x in it. So I need to somehow get rid of this negative one-half power. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to simplify this and realize that a negative power just means that we have the reciprocal here. So a of the negative one-half is the same as one over a to the positive half. So that'll be my first step. And then half power is the same as the square root. So I'm going to say this is the same as one over the square root of a equals x. And now I want to get a by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by square root a because I don't want a in the denominator here. So now I'm left with 1 equals x root a. And now I'm going to divide both sides by x. So I'm going to have 1 over x equals square root a. And lastly, I'm going to raise each side to the second power because that's how I get rid of the square root and isolate my a. So now I'd have 1 over x squared, right? Because 1 squared, this squared here impacts the 1, but 1 squared is equal to 1, and it impacts the x. x squared is equal to x squared. And then this squared here gets rid of the square root, so 1 over x squared equals a. So there's my answer. a is equal to 1 over x squared, which is choice c.